I'm Mary Jacks, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer on October 26th of 2016. I went in for a routine mammogram. They decided that I needed to have an ultrasound, which led to the need for a needle biopsy, which I went ahead and had everything done that day. The following day, I was given the information that they had detected that I had cancer. And it was at 1234 the following day. I remember the time exactly when the radiologist called me. And from there, MCA just took over. I was the first fast-tracked patient. And so I was able to get in the following Monday to see Dr. Velik. And from there, we just kind of determined what needed to happen. The day I met Dr. Velik in oncology, he said, we really need to look at genetic testing. So I had that done that day, blood work. And then from there, we scheduled with the surgeon. I met with the surgeon. We decided what needed to happen when. And because I was still waiting on genetic testing, they decided that I should wait a little while. But I then uh, underwent the lumpectomy after having radiation simulation to prepare me for radiation treatment. And then radiation was started in December after I had surgery in November and that went on daily for six weeks. And from there, I uh, began my adjuvant therapy. Because things happened so fast, my husband was able to, to get right in with me on that Monday with oncology, which was very helpful. He helped record that appointment so that it could be played back later. Um, from the beginning, my family's just been all in. Well, because I have had routine mammograms for 13 plus years, it was essential that I have 3D, and because I had 3D, they were able to pick up my cancer. I don't believe with the type of invasive lobular cancer that I have that it could have been picked up with a typical mammogram. So I would encourage women to always ask for the 3D. Initially in the beginning, you should have someone that can support you at diagnosis time, someone that can either record that appointment for you, take notes, because you're going to be overwhelmed with all the information that's provided by the, the oncologist. And from there, you just take one day at a time and realize, you know, that uh, this is just one part of your chapter of your story, it's not the whole story. Each day I wake up, I just view it as a gift, and I'm so grateful for MCA and for the, the medical care that we have in this community that um, will continue to provide me an oversight for the next five years and um, taking one day at a time and not lingering on the thought of the big C word and just knowing that the outcomes will be good.